Hi everyone, welcome to ACAS Cloud. Today, uh, our topic of discussions are Microsoft Azure and Azure Resources. So Microsoft Azure, what is Microsoft Azure? It's nothing but public cloud platform. So anyone with uh, having an account uh, in Microsoft Azure can just log in and can use all the services available uh, in the uh, Azure compute services. And again, like any other cloud platforms, uh, all the services relies on the technology known as virtualization. And here, hardware can be emulated or or it imitates uh, the software environment. The cloud is nothing but is a set of physical servers in one or more data centers. So this is a picture uh, showing the concept of Microsoft Azure. Again, uh, Microsoft Azure uh, has like 200 plus services available. These are just few of them. It's just to get uh, the concept of uh, Azure computing. Now, uh, the resources available in Azure. Again, there are many resources available. These are the main, uh, considered to be the main domains or resources. Uh, first one is co compute services, networking services, then storage services, and database services. Compute services. So all the ways, it's just all the ways that help Azure to execute programs, websites, applications, etc. Uh, and computing is nothing but uh, executing code. So it looks, acts, and behaves like a computer. And in reality, it acts like a physical machine. But instead of having the whole pie or a whole cake, you just have a slice of it. So if you are requesting a services to Microsoft Azure, uh, it will just give you a small part of that to use. Uh, so yes. And example for Microsoft Azure uh, compute services are virtual machines, web apps, ACI or Azure Container Instances, AKS or Azure Kubernetes Services. Next is Networking Service. Azure Networking provides the connectivity and scale you need without requiring you to build or manage down to the fiber. So here we don't need to deal with any optic fibers or cables, anything like that. All the networking services are available virtually. And if you are going deep down to networking, it actually includes four components, connectivity services, protection services, delivery services, and monitoring services. So connectivity services is nothing, it it's just shows how to connect and communicate each other. Protection service, it could ensure that only authorized people have the ability to communicate. And uh, when it comes to delivery services, it actually help you to deliver your resources and your services to the end users. And the last one, monitoring services, it's as the name implies, it will just monitor uh, the connectivity and everything related to networking services. Next one is uh, storage services. So as the name implies, it store files in Azure. So if, for example, if you are creating a virtual machine, uh, we will get a storage device uh, called disk storage by default. So yeah, if whenever you are creating a virtual machine by default, we will get that storage. So other than that, uh, we can actually request uh, Azure to get more storage spaces. And uh, other than this disk storage, we have four main kinds of storage system available in Azure. They are container or blob storage, tables, queues, and file storage. Next is database services. Uh, so yes, any application has to have some kind of database. And the main types of database available are relational and non-relational database. 
relational is uh, nothing but uh, there will be a primary key component uh, for us to relate to that data so we can just uh, capture the data from that database by uh, entering or giving that primary primary key component but for non relational database uh, we don't need that there there there, uh, there is no key component to it so it's just like a folder in desktop where we will save images or music files etc uh, but for the relational database uh, it it will be mostly like in uh, it will be mostly in columns and rows where we can search by a certain uh, criteria and the we will be able to pull out that data from the database so this is all about uh, Microsoft Azure and the main resources available in Azure. So I hope you like the video. Thank you.